Ministers have been accused of losing the plot after setting aside £8 million to offer a free portrait of King Charles to every public body in the UK. Local councils, courts, schools, police forces and fire services will all be eligible for a new portrait of his Madge, which Oliver Dowden says will serve as a reminder of the nation's ultimate public servant. Last week, the first official painting of the king was revealed, but the free portraits, which are understood to be photographs, are yet to be released. Anti-monarchy campaigners have called the move a shameful waste of money at a time where public services are being cut. And personally, I could not agree more. First of all, stop saying it's free if it's going to cost us eight million quid. Exactly. First of all, it's not a portrait. We're getting a, a picture, a photocopy. Charles had a good start, I thought, Photocopy. Reign. A copy. Photograph. Well, it's a well, it's a photocopy. Well, it's a photocopy. So reproduction. Oh, okay. oh, reproduction. Do you think they're going to snappy snaps for them? Probably. Just going to get big ones. It'll cost twice as much. It'll cost loads more there. But I thought he had a good start to the rain. I thought he was doing well. But this is a massive own goal, and he can clearly afford to pay that himself. So why? Are we going to have to pay the cost for our local fire service? This isn't his is. decision. No. But he can, he can intervene. It's not his fault. He can intervene. It is. But, it is. but, but you know what? This is, a, this is such a massive waste of money. The coronation's already going to cost us about £100 million. Pounds. Yeah. We don't need £8 million more pounds on pictures of King Charles III that nobody asked for. But the for. coronation... Like, nobody asked the coronation, for. I think, is... The coronation can be considered an investment. If you, if you like it, it puts... Great Britain on the world stage. It, it makes a lot of people want to come and visit the country and it allows uh, for an event. There are all sorts of reasons why it's a good thing. Shrinks that this GDP this well, eight million but... quid, though, uh, there are so many... Say, for example, if a company does a rebrand, mm -hmm. who pays for it? The company. Mm -hmm. exactly. So if, for example, the monarchy wanted to say, look, we think it'd be a really good idea and they could have made a competition around it or something or they could have done it mm -hmm. or they could have said, right, we're going to sell these things and then with the money we're going to use it for these things so that we can get them in schools and hospitals. Uh -huh. There are plenty of ways. I mean, for example, when the royal palaces are open, they could do something and say, right, we want to raise this money so that we can send pictures of the king to whatever. You don't have raise to have it as a government. He's got, he's got half a billion. But the other, the other no, point... Well, it's, it's not quite the, necessarily The other his. point is, why do institutions needs a picture of King Charles III. He's going to be on money. You have been to He's our going to be HQ, on post boxes. <laughs> you have been to our HQ, his, you? Yes, but his insignia <laughs> so is everywhere. Is. His cipher is everywhere. Why do we need branding, institutions to have branding. pictures I think, I of King Charles III? I think the authorities III. are very worried about King Charles because, for example, the coronation of which you speak, uh, every local council... Uh, has been given the chance to have a, a local celebration. Hundreds of councils have indicated they have no intention of celebrating the coronation at all, including mm. his local council in the Cotswolds next to Highgrove. So I'm just wondering whether this is the authorities a little bit worried about mm. the branding of our current monarch, who, let's face it, is never going to be yeah, as popular I, I, as his mother. But speak to a Absolutely. branding expert and they'll tell you that this is not the way to do it. No. no. Maybe they could get the pictures sponsored by something. You know, they could be sent <laughs> out. Snappy snaps they again. Like snappy snaps, snaps again. Yeah. You know, m maybe Starbucks or... I don't know, whatever, oh, nice. some sort of, you know, royal... Like tartan you know, maker. bit of branding. Could be well, originals. Twining. Could be an, an When I lived in the Middle East, brand. there were pictures of the right honourable shake everywhere. But the shake and the family paid for those pictures to be put there. Yeah. They paid for it all. Well, in America, though, everywhere you go, uh, official portraits of the president on every single public building. In so uh, we're loads, going down yeah. the American route here. But, in, yeah, in Ghana, there's loads of pictures of the president, mm. you know, everywhere you go. I have no problem about there being pictures. I think it's a good thing to move on and all that sort but of thing. But they should pay for it. But, but there is yeah. a way for it, the money to be raised and used from within... The, you know, the royal portfolio, but also to be a little bit more specific. It should be phased to say, look, we all know we're in a cost of living crisis, so we're going to start with these buildings yeah. where you might expect it. So, for example, you might expect it at main government buildings, mm. for yeah. example, phase one. But I, I do think that, Ke that Kevin made you know, a, a valid wider point. There is not very much excitement about the coronation. Mm. And I think that they're probably they were expecting more or hoping yeah. for more by now. Now, sometimes these things almost... Take in fact, uh, with previous jubilees, yeah. there wasn't very much yeah. excitement at all, and then actually suddenly at the last minute yeah. that there was, and you know, we got that sort of community spirit and people having soggy picnics and all the rest of it, and it all became rather lovely and quintessentially British. So maybe we'll be surprised. If you want to think you about this couple, though, I mean, you know, Charles and Camilla, they seem like a really nice couple. I've got nothing against them, but let's face <coughs> it, they're about as exciting as a wet Monday morning, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, there's a problem here. People you... are not thrilled by this But people couple. do Because like they're to... dull. But if you want to build excitement, I've got three words for you. Invite Prince Harry.
He is invited. He is invited. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah, absolutely light, right, though. Light the touch paper, why don't you? All Harry's I know coming. Is, He'll bring the drugs. All I know is, <laughs> if the weather's good, we'll have a fabulous time and everybody will go, it's amazing. And if it's a wet washout, it's a disaster. The Queen's Let's was move on. soggy. Let's move on. <laughs> wow. Let's